Budgetzilla, if you remember correctly, um, went up to uh, Round Lake, Illinois, and picked this bike up back in 2016. It was a 2000. Uh, bleh, I'm sorry. It was a 1987 Suzuki 500 Quad Racer. Uh, pretty much stock, not in very good condition. Um, I picked that up. I want to reveal it, reveal it now for six hundred red dollars. Yeah, six hundred dollar five hundred quad racer could not pass it up. So I did the seven hundred mile round trip to go get it. And at that time, uh, I was planning on uh, just uh, putting a copper head gasket on it. 88 and up studs and running it and just I guess uh, over the course of time and finding a guy on YouTube that I will mention here momentarily um, I decided to do a little bit more than that so my idea of budgetzilla over the past two and a half years has totally changed and I have to say that budgetzilla is no more Budgetzilla is gone. I just, I just I just could not do Budgetzilla. I couldn't do it. Got a package in the mail the other day, and I think I'm gonna go unbox it. Let's see what we got here. Especially it's hot in here. Here we go. Ah, there it is. All right, let's sit down there. Look at that thing. Oh my god. So, what stands before you is a nameless bike that um, it, it's very near being done. Um, I've still got to do a few things. Rebuild the calipers, master cylinders. Anyway, this is what I've ended up with after two and a half years. And this bike here is the best of my abilities everything on this bike is new everything powder coated frame uh new wheels new tires every bearing replaced the uh shocks lowered and rebuilt powder coated springs uh Custom barrel aged 1050 uh, shock reservoir cover <laughs> running, um, I believe, 18 6 by 10, or I'm sorry, 19 by 6 by 10 uh, Duros on the front with Alba wheels running on uh, YFZ 450 front hubs and uh, 18 by 10 by 10 Duro scorchers on the back. On Alba bead locks as well with uh, Suzuki Z400 hubs. Crap, DG. This is brand new and it is just, I hate the way it fits. Um, DG aluminum grab bar. Uh, powder coating was all done by Max in uh, Scottsburg, Indiana. Uh, we did a nice really cool hammered um, on the A-arms, like a hammered uh, gun metal on the A-arms and on the swing arm and the uh, motor mounts uh, black on the axle uh, blue on the rear hubs, blue on the frame black on the uh, steering stem 
And I really want to do some stuff that was red. Uh, I bought the red braided steel brake lines. I wanted to make that stuff pop. So I had a few things done in red. You'll see in the final product. Um, but um, one was the uh, steering stem clamps. Uh, yeah. Um, custom uh, fire blade rotors. Uh, the uh, spindles were powder coated black. New tie rods, ball joints. I mean, everything that I could replace on this with new was replaced. But um, let's get into the engine. Uh, so through YouTube, I found out about a guy named uh, Robert, also known as Dr. Q, and I got talking with him, and uh, he ended up, you know, I told him what my price range was, what my situation was, but yeah, I talked to uh, Dr. Q, and uh, I told him, you know, what my price range was. And, uh, you know, kind of what I was wanting to do, wasn't really sure. I was expecting more of a Beaterzilla engine. And he was like, you know, send me your engine and we'll go from there. I bought a few other things from him prior to that. The pipe is a, a an RX 2.0 setup. That was the first thing I purchased from him. Then I bought uh, some reeds and a... Uh, seat cover that has not been installed then i bought a uh, front end geometry kit we'll talk about that later and then we got the engine and uh yeah i told you the amount of money that was in my in in my budget and uh i, I sent him my engine and he just kind of like you know i was expecting kind of a beaterzilla setup but that's not what I ended up getting. So, um, the uh, I'll actually save that for the reveal of the of the uh, of the bike. Um, but uh, the carb as well um, was done by him. It is actually an '87 carb. He thought he had an '88 and up. Um, one of the better carbs for this bike, but. Um, he called me and said, hey, this is, you know, the, the carb I thought I had is not what I thought I had. And um, he said, I am replacing it with all 88 and up internals, and your engine will not know the difference, which I thought was a pretty stand-up thing to do, really. And I commend him for that. And I believe it's actually a 40 millimeter. I don't think it was able to be punched to the 42.5 because he called me later and said, hey, uh, before you run that thing, you need to put a 530 jet in it and start jetting down. And uh, he said, usually on my bikes, I put a 470. And there's a 470 on the back of the carb and a 40. So I'm assuming it's 40 millimeters instead of 42.5. But I'm fine with that. But... Um, basically built this bike uh the shocks were lowered um one inch in the front and one and a half inch in the rear giving it a an overall lowering of about one inch and then uh going from a 22 or uh I believe 21, 20 setup to a 19, 16 setup, you know, and you drop another inch. So it sits about three inches lower in stock. The frame itself sits probably about six or seven inches off the ground. It is low. Also, um, uh, Dr. Q lowered peg and uh, the uh, brake, brake lever is also done in the hammered uh, gun metal. This is by far the absolute best work that I feel that I can possibly do. I mean, to bring a 30, 31, almost 30, I guess almost 32 year old bike to uh, this caliber caliber of build. Uh, it's never, it's something I never figured I would end up doing, but um, I, I'm very happy with the results so far. And it really bums me out the plastic I have is really just not up to par with this build. Um, uh, 
and at this point in time, I really don't have the money to sink another $700 into plastics for it. So I'm going to do my best to make the plastics I have look as good as possible. But, um, and some of this stuff might be uh, reiterated in the final product video. But I really just wanted to film this just to uh, show this bike off in its glory right now, which I feel is naked. And there'll be more videos to come, top speed, yada, 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 but uh, uh, more specs on the bike. But, I mean, I I'm just so proud of this thing. Uh, over the course of two years of just w what this bike has became from my original uh, thought process on it. Um, the colors and just the... Uh, the amount of engineering and stuff that you know Dr. Q has done just speaks for itself. I mean, I, I, I would recommend him. I know a lot of people like to talk shit about him uh, on the sites and stuff for some reason. But, I mean, honestly, he has been nothing but good to me. And uh, I couldn't recommend his work more. And uh, I hope, although I don't have a lot of... Uh, quad racer stuff in the future i hope that he will end up working on some of my other stuff uh suzuki wise in the future because um there there's a lot of things that that i really enjoy about the uh, suzuki brand that uh i really hope that he enjoys as well so um Anyways, I'm going to finish this uh, Backwoods Bastard and quit rambling, and I hope that you come back and see what the final product is and see what I can do with this thing because um, this is by far the greatest machine that I have ever built and probably ever will build. So anyway, hope oh, God damn, I just feel better everywhere. Uh, yeah, so hope to see you there. Hope you subscribe.